Alrighty guys, uh, CW Outdoors here, back with another video. Um, today, as you can see, we're on the brand new Brute Force. Um, unfortunately, the riding conditions are not the best, but um, it's the best we've gotten for a while. So we're, um, this is my first real ride actually out here on it and I'm just gonna be basically giving you guys what I what I think of it so far as I'm riding it oh shoot this thing kind of picks up for uh, what it is So yeah, it's, if you guys haven't seen the video already, this is a 2021 brand new Brute Force 300. Um, we've been wanting to get like a a new quad for um, our dad, and he just picked this up about a month ago. So he picked this up. Um, he wanted just something like a good trail quad. Um, he'd been looking at the recons, but you know he's getting a little bit older. And I think he just wanted like an auto. I don't really know. I mean, they had the. Uh... Um, they have like an Arctic Cat 250 one, but I think he just wanted something brand new. And so he got the Kawasaki 300. Um, so far my first thoughts are... It is a little bit noisy, the CVT is a little louder. So that's something that you gotta get, I guess, used to a little bit. Not anything a big deal, but. I'm very comfortable though. Like really, really comfortable. It's got plenty of mid-range power too. Like the mid-range power on this thing is amazing. Suspension is really smooth, steering is nice and easy. I'm getting around pretty good out here. Now I'm not entirely sure on the horsepower rating for one of these. But I believe it's on the lines of somewhere of 22. I think I read low 20s. So um, that's pretty good for uh, 300. Uh, the CVT is very nice. I'm um, very soft off the bottom, you know. Um, especially when you're creeping and crawling around like this kind of stuff. But then when you get in the mid range, it uh, snaps pretty good. So I like that. It's not a super aggressive machine, which is, I mean, perfect for really anybody. Uh, the tires on it have gotten me around pretty good so far. Oof. I'm really impressed by the suspension honestly like this is pretty good stuff
it's not showing me miles an hour now. What is going on with that? Why it's not reading miles per hour for me? Let's try it again here real quick. Yeah, it's not reading miles per hour. Huh. That's weird. Really pump comfortable though. Like I said, I can't like say that enough. Um, I like this thing a lot already, and the fenders are nice to keep mud keeping mud off of you and everything. It's got pretty good power too. like it and for the money this is probably one of the, the, the nicer quads that you could get for sure um, I don't think it I don't know guys this is making me it's making it kind of hard to like want to recon too almost because of the ease, and I'm a big recon fan, and this is kind of, I'm liking this a lot. Just the fact that anybody can hop on this and ride though is super convenient. I mean, I guess some people still will prefer gears. They'll prefer gears over, um, like, this, these CVTs and everything. And, like, yeah, I like shifting myself, too, but sometimes it's nice just to hit the gas and go. You know, not have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. It is definitely uh, pretty, pretty loud, though. Suspension super nice. So this is a liquid cooled quad, I believe. Yeah, it's a liquid cooled quad. So um, you don't got any worries, but worry about any heating or anything like that with it. Yeah, only complaint I really have so far is I don't know why that speedometer stopped working. So. I'll have to look up where the, the wheel speed sensor is. Check that out. Super easy to ride this thing though. Slung it sideways a little bit. Once you get in that mid-range and that bell hooks up, you can 
You can power slide this thing good. Yeah, it'll power slide good. I do like having trail suspension a lot too because you can just power through stuff without really having to worry about any of it. Ready and then we'll turn around here and then I'm getting the mid range and then yep, just spins the tires all throughout here. It really does pull nice, it, like this is a good speed. It definitely feels sporty. Like it's it's not anything like it feels like it's designed more towards to be sporty, but it definitely has that um that use of like that utility part of it where it can be very capable of doing anything, you know, doing any work that you need to do with it other than ride. Anyway guys, so I know this is kind of like a all over the place video, but I uh, I think I'm going to maybe probably call it off here, um, at least for talking. Um, thank you for watching. Um, my first impressions of this machine are very positive, I'm a really big fan of it. I think it's a really good, really put well put together machine, um, it just balanced really well with everything. Uh, like I said, brand new. This quad will be on the channel for many more years. So, I mean, obviously, as the years go on, the longevity of it, we'll see how she holds up. We'll keep you guys updated and everything with it. But I'm just going to end the last couple minutes of here just some riding for you guys so you guys can just enjoy some GoPro. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.